In this video, we are going to learn how to prove that two vectors are perpendicular. So here we have been given two vectors, that is vector A and vector B. And uh, vector A is equal to AX plus AY plus AZ and B is equal to BX plus BY plus BZ. So in this video, we are going to prove that these two vectors are perpendicular. Now, how do we know that these are perpendicular? We know that these angles are perpendicular if the angle between them is 90 degrees. Now, how are we going to proceed? We're going to proceed as follows. Know that this is vector A and this is vector B. So in this video, um, we're going to use the concept of dot product. We can either use dot product or cross product, but in this video, we're going to use the, 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 the dot product. So let's do, um, use the product. So we know that if we dot A, that is vector A dot B, we have the answer that is going to be the magnitude of A uh, times the magnitude of B, then cos theta. Then this theta is the angle that is between the, the, two, the two vectors. But here, if we dot A and B, uh, this one, they are from this part, the left side, so let us say N, B. If we dot A and B, a and B. This is going to give us, this is, okay, let us call this as equation one for the sake of understanding. So this one, A dot B, we're going to have AX, BX plus AY, BY plus AZ, BZ. That is when we dot uh, or, or we multiply the, 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 the components in x, y, and z respectively. So let us call this as equation uh, number two. But we also know that the, a, the magnitude of an angle or the magnitude of a vector, this one, let's say the magnitude of vector, vector a, this must give us the square root of ax squared plus ay squared plus az squared. Then the magnitude of b, the magnitude of vector b is square root of bx squared plus b plus by squared plus bz squared. So if we put this, so let us call this, okay, as the asterisk one. So if we put asterisk one and equation two in this equation, what we're going to have is, we are going to have a dot b, so we're going to have ax bx plus ay, by plus az, bz, this must give us, so this is in the magnitude of this, we're going to have, uh, okay, we're going to have the magnitude of a, so in, in the meantime, let's just uh, do this, okay, magnitude of a, then magnitude of b, then cos theta. So here we can even divide by magnitude of A and also magnitude of B here so that even here we divide by the same magnitude of A and magnitude of B also here so that this and this will cancel and what we are going to have is, let's just erase this part. So putting this into equation one, what we're going to have is, okay, this same one. That is AX, BX plus AY, BY plus AZ, BZ over the magnitude, which is the magnitude of A and the magnitude of B. Okay, so this is going to be cos theta. But we know that the magnitudes, okay, the magnitude of A is um, this one, and the magnitude of vector B is this 
one. So the magnitude of vector A is this, and for B is this one. So if we put this and this into this, we're going to have AX, BX plus AY, BY plus AZ, BZ over, okay. So we have the square root of AX squared plus AY squared plus AZ squared. Then we have this one for B, we have the square root of BX squared plus BY squared plus BZ squared. So this must give us cos theta. So when we use, um, if we want to figure out now for theta, so theta will be, this is the angle. This is going to be the cos inverse of everything here now. So we have AX, BX plus AY, BY plus AZ, BZ over the square root of AX squared plus AY squared plus AZ squared times square root of B uh, X squared plus BY squared plus BZ squared. So this is what we are going to, this is what we are, this is the expression that we are going to get now. To prove that this is, um, this is the perpendicular or the two vectors are perpendicular, uh, this angle must be 90. For, for these two vectors, vector A and vector B to be perpendicular, the two vector, the, two, the, the, the angle between them must be 90. So if theta is equal to 90 degrees, then the two vectors, that is vector A and vector B are perpendicular. The angle between them is 90 degrees. And once the angle between them is 90 degrees, then it means they are perpendicular. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how to do uh, it using some values. Thank you so much for watching the video.